All right, so let's talk about what a layer four lucid dream is. This is the one of the highest levels of lucid dream that you can actually attain. And it has some distinct differences between layer three and layer two. So firstly, let's just recap. Layer one is just the base level. You're just having a normal dream. Layer two is where you're semi-lucid. So you're sort of aware that you're dreaming, but you're not really in control of what you're doing, okay? And then layer three is where you're having a normal lucid dream. So you're dreaming, you're aware of the fact that it's not real, and you're able to sort of decide what you do. By the way, before we get on with this video, please just go ahead and subscribe. It'll take two seconds, and then you'll get all the updates for my future videos. Like I said, I'm doing daily videos now, so you really don't wanna miss these. Anyway, on with the video. Now layer four is where you're lucid, you're in control, you're aware that it's a dream, and you're at a higher level of control. And there's not really um, a sort of linear way of deciding whether you're actually a layer three or a layer four. It's really just down to how much control you feel like you had. So for example, with a layer three, you might be lucid, but then you might lose lucidity. Uh, that can still happen. Whereas with, with layer four, it's a much more stable experience. Layer four lucid dreams are very uh, sort of rock solid and stable. You're not gonna likely wake up from a layer four unless you want to or unless you know, you've had a very long time in the dream. Whereas with a layer three lucid dream, you can be you know, aware of the fact you're dreaming, but then you could wake up. You could excite yourself or get carried away. So like I said, layer four, you're not gonna likely wake up unless you choose to. It's not the sort of layer where you would be distracted or you'd have sex because you know that these things would wake you up and distract you and collapse the dream. Okay, so in layer three, you can be lucid, you can be aware, you can be in control, but you will tend to do low level things in layer three. You'll tend to do things like um, like flying around or like having sex or like being excited about the fact that you're lucid with no real goal or you know thing that you're aiming for, nothing you're trying to achieve. It's more just sort of about the feeling of the dream, which is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's actually it's actually really good. It's good. It's a good experience. But but layer four is what you should strive for. Layer four and above. So layer four, you want to be, when you're in a layer four dream, you're gonna be focusing on the more profound aspects. You're gonna be doing things like practicing skills, like overcoming fears. This is where you'll be in a stable dream and you'll talk to your fears or you'll talk to your subconscious mind. Because at this level, because it's so stable and it's less likely to collapse, you're gonna be able to interact with your subconscious mind in a way that you never could in layer three lucid dream. And to be honest with you, layer four is what we should all be aiming for. This is the, the holy grail of lucid dream. This is where the most work happens and the most results happen. All of these benefits that you've been hearing about where you can, you know, I mean, there, there are two types of lucid dreaming benefits, okay? Two, two reasons why people would want to lucid dream. Firstly, you've got the, the fun novelty experiences. So you've got things like flying, like sex, like, you know, running around or doing whatever. And then you've got the other type of experiences, which is the more personal and inward journeys, the more profound, meaningful and spiritual journeys, things like overcoming your fears, talking to parts of your subconscious mind, you know, connecting with old, uh, with lost loved ones, um, traveling to different places, uh, talking to your subconscious, as I said, uh, interacting with the dream itself and actually working on various aspects of your psyche. Okay, this is what you achieve in layer four. You don't do this in layer three because in layer three, it's not stable enough. So if you're in layer three and if you're just normally lucid, there are a few things you can do to get to layer four. Uh, so firstly, you've got stabilization. You can do things like spinning around on the spot, like meditating in the dream itself, like gathering chi energy. Um, you can do things like rubbing your hands together. You can also use dream commands. So this is a dream command is where you actually shout out to the dream itself and you say things like increase lucidity or make this dream more stable. Now these are dream commands that are very simple to shout out, but you must really expect them to work in order for them to actually do anything. So you need to really expect that when you say increase lucidity, the dream is actually gonna respond and it's gonna change the dream experience and the dream scene. And that is how you go from layer three to layer four. Just by doing these techniques and these, you know, doing these stabilization methods, you're gonna go from one lucid dreaming layer right to the next layer. You don't need to practice this 
outside of that. You just need to become lucid, and then when you're lucid, tell yourself, right, I need to stabilize this in order to go deeper, in order to go into a layer four lucid dream. Now, a layer five lucid dream is something that I really wanna make an entirely new video about. But just to sort of set the tone for it, just to get you prepared, right, for what you're gonna to need to do to get to a layer five, you you really need to be building the basics into your into your routine. You need to be meditating for at least 10 minutes a day. Okay, at this, at this level, you need to be meditating. You also need to be writing your dreams down every morning. Uh, you also need to be doing reality checks during the day. But beyond all of that, you need to be doing a holistic sort of self-development routine. You need to be focused on what you want to do in life. You need to have some sort of goal, some sort of passion about something that's going to drive you to do things. Um, you also need to be eating healthily and sleeping right. These sound like simple things, but you'd be surprised how many people don't do these things and still expect to have these profound life-changing lucid dreaming experiences when their sleep's all screwed up or they don't eat the right food or, you know, whatever, they take drugs or whatever. So in order to go into a, a layer five lucid dream, I'm going to make another video about it, like I said, but just try and prepare yourself mentally and physically for some deeper level of experience. This is going to be much more profound than any of the other layers combined. A layer five lucid dream and beyond is really serious stuff. This is where you're directly interacting with your subconscious mind in a way that will actually change your your mind and your, the way you think. It's not to be messed around with or taken lightly, so make sure that if you are going to go beyond the layer four, uh, even or even the layer three actually, just be prepared for it. Be, be wary of the fact that you are interacting directly with your mind, you are changing, potentially changing your fundamental beliefs and your thoughts and the, and the things that make up who you are, you're going to be actually interacting with these things on a direct sort of one-to-one -one level. Anyway, so to recap, a layer four, you're lucid but you're much more stable. You're in control but you're not being distracted by things that would collapse the dream. So in a nutshell, that means you're not really doing things like having sex or running around or fighting. You're doing more profound calm and relaxed things because you know that this is how you stay lucid for longer.